2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this year's Q School Final. It's time to get underway, so let's get into the coverage of this exciting event. Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, what's on the minds of these players today? Luke, at the end of the day, these players want one thing and one thing only, and that's their Corn Ferry Tour card. And to do that, they need to finish up in the top 50 at the end of the event. Can't wait to see what unfolds. Not bad. Second shot here on the first. Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. Time now for the fourth shot. This next part is for bogey. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Just a short putt remaining here. Ouch, that's not the way they intended to start their day, Rich. Nope, it looked like you were out there, Luke. Lucky to get away with a double bogey. And coming off a double bogey, you'd imagine their heads down a bit. Time to just clear that from the mind. Players want to take out any club, driver, three, whatever it takes, to miss the bunkers down the right-hand side in order to give them the best opportunity to knock it on in two. However, danger lurks everywhere around this green, so players playing cautiously, might want to consider laying up. Birdie fours are always a good score in this hole, and you're never disappointed with a five. Ooh, sometimes you need a hacksaw to get out of this rough. Going with the five iron here. Uh-oh, this one's out, heading towards the rough. Henny, do you have a better look at this lie? Looks like they have a good lie here in the second cut. Yeah, this is lovely. Wow, what happened there? Not easy to find the green coming out of the rough. Mm -hmm. Straight out of the top draw. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. Currently at two over par. We have a par three on this one. A split green here. It is difficult to make birdie twos, but par threes should be had. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. Outside chance here for the birdie. Now this one's from downtown. This is what they have left for birdie here. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Well, I think they fell in love with the line, forgot about the pace. Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. The fourth at TPC Boston Rich, a great short par four. Players looking to make birdie or better. The only difficulty is finding that front bunker. That's when big numbers can be had. For sure, birdies galore. Oh, absolutely flushed. Mm -hmm. 
This would be a great up and down from this spot. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. And he needs this to save par. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. It's time to step onto the tee here at the fifth. Dog legs from right to left. The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one. You'll have a birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's going to be a difficult two putt. This shot now being played from the fairway bunker. Sitting at two over for the day. Uh oh, this one's airmailing the green. Straight into the woodwork from that one. And here we are with their fourth. This is their fifth shot. Here's their sixth shot. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. Ooh, right by the hole. And this one's for quadruple bogey. Well, that's a shame. That'll drop them down the standings. That's for sure. We've arrived at a par four hole. Bunkers down the right-hand side are a nuisance. The pawn fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. The sixth hole, particularly the approach, Rich, at TPC Boston is a very strong one. If they put the pin other than front left near the water, it's a good birdie opportunity, but once that pin sneaks over to the left-hand side, watch out. Bogies and doubles come into the equation very quickly. Uh, right into the water on that one. And what are we looking at here, Henny? And from around 135 yards. Woo, back there, horsey. Yeah, that one will play. Uh, this putt coming up is for triple bogey. No, that's too bad. Sometimes when you try and get it up the hill, you just forget to hit it sometimes. It seems so in this case. Sitting at 10 over par for the day. Aggressive play here, going with driver off the tee. Par five, and only the long players can reach in two. Find the fairway, then make a decision. Do I go over the large bunker 100 yards away, or do I lay back of it? Either way, you must make a par five here, because birdies will be had by the big hitters. Oh, that was pure. And here we are with the third shot. Well played, mate. And this putt is for a big four on the scorecard. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. That will drive you bats. We have a par three on this one.
par three and a diabolical green to say the least. The left hand side sits much higher than the right hand side and the green is usually very firm. A tough ask. That one seemed to get away from them, Rich. That's been the story of the day, isn't it, Luke? It has missed a lot of greens and you can't afford to do that on this golf course. This putt is from 14 feet. This is important. Big par putt here. Yeah, you'll take that. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. Ninth hole, focus down the left, will not come into play. And this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. From around 170 yards here. Back into the wind. They need to flight this one down. Is that what they had in mind? Wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. And just about eight feet left to the hole. He was on a good line. This one's for bogey. And as we head over to the 10th hole, Rich, this player will enter their final nine holes of Q School. How will they be feeling? Luke, this is the spot where you either fail or shine. And I got to say, nine holes left to put themselves in the top 50 to make it on the Corn Ferry Tour. Failing is definitely an option for this player. Uh, this one might just sneak off the fairway. Do you think they drew that up differently in their mind? Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. Playing their fourth shot. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. And down it goes for consecutive bogeys. Yeah, making one bad mistake with another, compounding it, not good. And we've arrived at a par three. Par three measures 231 yards from the back. A very difficult test indeed. A long green that is unforgiving as it slopes from back to front quite severely. Birdies are hard to run by as pars can be as well. Well, you like the look of those hands. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. Par four, 510 yards, it is a brute. Those bunkers down the right-hand side are a natural attraction for wayward golf balls. Second shot is down the slope. A big, deep, gaping bunker on the right-hand side will also find its fair share of golf balls. All in all, just a tough hole, to say the least. Getting ready to play their third. Ooh, that almost went down. Yeah, that's a top little chip shot, that one. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. This hole's a tough two-shotter, a long par four. Tee shot up the hill to a blind landing area. Second shot is to a green that is surrounded by a cavern of bunkers. If you miss all those and find the green in two, then you'll have a decent look at a birdie three. And he's down there. Our wind's just gonna knock the ball down. It's straight at the back. Good sounding strike, that one. Good shot there. And he's down there. You got a read? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. 12 feet to the cup coming up.
Oh, just missed. And this one is for Bogey. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. And now on the tee, coming off a of bogey, trying to reclaim some momentum. Fairway sweeps from right to left down the hill. Should you find the fairway, you'll have a decent look at finding the green in two. But I got to say, it is a difficult par four, and you'd be happy to walk away with that score. The 14th hole at TPC Boston is a par five for the locals. A converted par four for the tournament, Rich. And it's a strong second shot down the hill. Second shot, very narrow opening to this green. If you miss it out to the right in the bunkers, you have a difficult time getting it up and down. Out to the left, you have some options. Parts can be made. Oh, so close. That'll sting a bit. And in it goes for the par. And staying right where... PlayStation.